Hello everyone, this is Sephiroth's Awakening and welcome back to Star Ocean Second Evolution for the PlayStation Portable. In this episode I decided I am going to take a break from all these uh, fields and getting the orbs and do some private actions. So let me save my game because I believe there are a few private actions in North City that have multiple results and I want to show all of them. Of course it would help if I didn't run in the town without activating the private action mode. Alright. Our group has dispersed, now let me find the private actions. Oh hey Reyna, you're just in time, come here a second. What are you doing? Just buying some stuff for dinner. Here, take these. Um, what are these? They're eggs. What did you think they were? I know that, but... There's a sale on eggs today. Half off, limit one bag per person. You mind helping me out here a bit? Sure. But what are you going to do with all these eggs you're buying? Eat them, of course. Alright, so... there. These are three choices. I'm not sure which one is the one I want to go with. But uh, I'll just choose the top option first and go down from there. I guess you're a big fan of hard-boiled eggs. Why do you say that? You can cook eggs in lots of different ways, you know. Oh, you like fried eggs too? Oh, come on. I'm actually capable of real cooking, you know. I could use them to make cakes or omelets or anything. Really? What? Oh, nothing. The idea of you cooking just seems strange to me somehow. Ah. Whatever. Thanks for helping, Reyna. Oh, you can call on me anytime for things like this. Hmm, what else was I gonna buy? Wow, that was a uh, kind of mean. Anyways, let's load up the save and redo. Alright, time for option number two. Do you cook, Chisato? Enough to keep the family fed. If I had one, that is. Oh? That's... impressive. What was that pause for? N nothing Nothing Feel free to call on me any time for things like this, okay? Sure, thanks. Hmm, what else was I gonna buy? Wow. Uh, this was actually... Worse than I thought it was. I thought this was going to be the answer I was looking for. Oh well, anyways, time to load the save and redo. Alright, time for option number three. Isn't this just too much though? Is there someone special in your life that you're cooking for or something, Chisato? Oh, please, not at all. It's just that they're so cheap, I couldn't help myself. Maybe I have gone a little overboard, though. Why don't you come over to my place? I'd be happy to treat you to some home cooking, Reyna. Really? Are you sure about that? Of course. I need to repay you for helping me shop. Here we are. Um... Isn't this the newspaper office? Oh, don't mind that. This place is practically home to me. Hang on just one second, okay? noise 
And here we go. Dig in. Wow, it actually looks normal. What'd you say? N nothing. Absolutely nothing. I just whipped up a few things with what I had lying around. My original trademark home cooking. Let me know what you think. Sure. Here goes. Whoa! This is really good! Isn't it? I'm pretty proud of my skills in the kitchen. I'm not so good with the presentation yet, but... That was absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for cooking all of it. You're very welcome. I'll be happy to make some more for you anytime. Alright, I think that was the best response anyways. I'm going to save and try to look for other PAs. Alright, I wasn't able to trigger any private actions in uh, Centropolis, so I'm heading on to North City. Erg. Let me save. Even though I just moved like five feet. <laughs> I know for certain there's a PA with Pressus here. What are you up to, Pressus? Ah, Reyna! Just, you know, stuff. I was just thinking how I've been living alone with my dad for so long. Sometimes I think it'd be nice to have a brother or sister. You were an only child, weren't you, Breezes? Don't you ever feel that way too sometimes, Reyna? When I was a child, I was friends with Diaz and Cecile. They were like having a real brother and sister in a way. Really? I never really had anyone like that, so... I remember begging my dad to give me a brother or sister back when I was a kid. That must have given him some serious headaches. Now that I look back on it, it was pretty mean for me to do that to him. I'll never forget the look on his face when I asked him. It was the first time in his life he didn't know what to say. Hmm, you've got Claude? I think that's the worst option. I think I want to choose that one, but first I'll go with this one. Don't you have Claude though? Hmm, yeah, I guess. That would have been great if Claude was actually my real brother. He's not all that reliable, though. You got that right. He acts really goofy sometimes, too. You said it. Uh, that probably negatively affected my relationship, relationship with Claude. <laughs> Alright, time for her option number two. How about this, Priestess? Maybe I could be your big sister. Oh, if only you really were my big sister. Reyna, can I ask you for a favor? Of course. What is it? Is it alright if I call you sis? Just once? <laughs> well, sure. I can't let my little sister down. What about my dearest, beloved sister? Is that okay? That, I'm not so sure about. I'm just joking, sis. Oh, pre-sis. <laughs> Thanks, 
Thanks, Reyna. Yeah, that's so cute. Anyways, time for option number one. Do you still want some siblings now? I'm just happy that I had the chance to be on this journey with all of you. It kind of feels like this is what having a family is like, you know? I don't think I need a real brother or sister anymore. Oh, is that right? That's great to hear. Yeah. All right. Let me see if I can find some other PAs. I have to go to another town, though. Wow, this one isn't, uh, voiced. Interesting. They both look disappointed. So disappointed. <laughs> Ashton's been going in Chisato's stuff, I guess. Now where is Ashton, I wonder? I'm gonna go find him, see if he has anything to say. Alright, we do have something to say. I think it's time to move on, try and find another PA, maybe there will be another one here. Alright, so there are no PAs left in North Town, so I'm going to head to... I'm trying to decide between Prince Bridge, Armlock, or Fun City. I think I'm going to head to Prince, Br Prince Bridge first. I forgot what this was called before on the uh, PlayStation version. If I could land. And if I recall correctly, there are a PA. There is a PA with Noel here, but I don't know if I have enough friendship points to get it. As you can see that he tells you this is where he's from. Uh, hello? I'm sorry, could I ask what brings you here? Um, this is Noelle's house, right? It certainly is. And you are? My name is Reyna, and, um, I'm here to see Noelle. Oh, you aren't THE Reyna, are you? Um, I think so, yes? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Kel May. I've known Professor Chandler ever since I was his student. Give me just a minute, alright? I'll go let him know you're here. Professor? Professor Chandler, you've got a visitor out front. You can come on up. Thanks. Hi there, Reyna. Sorry to intrude on you like this. It's quite all right. Make yourself at home. I'll go get some tea for you. Um, Kelme?
Kelme, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. What? What do you need, Professor? Um, sorry to bother you, but how about making a pot of tea for us? Tea? Certainly. I'll get right on it. I can feel her eyes on me. So who is she? You mean Kelme? She used to be one of my students. Once I quit teaching at the university and started traveling around for my research, she started coming in every now and then to keep things tidy for me. Kind of like right now, actually. Oh, I see. She's been a tremendous asset to me. No doubt about that. And I hate to meddle in her affairs too much, but I'm wondering if it's about time she started thinking about settling down. You know, find a nice man and get married. I've brought up the subject before, but she always just sort of laughed it off. You actually discussed that with her, Noel? Of course I have. Why do you ask? No reason. Wow, that guy is oblivious. No choices on that PA, but uh, I'll be saving. I think there's one other thing I'll do on this episode. And that's to get the uh, bunny shoes. I shouldn't save here, I should save in front of Fun City, but... I'm going to probably go into uh, Fun City quite a bit in next episode. No, that's not Fun City. Alright, Fun City should be somewhere... Ah, here we go. Now the thing about Fun City is, if you don't have a pass... If you don't have a pass, you have to pay to get in. Heck! I want to enter private action mode and of course... Equip... I should have Magician's Gauntlets by now. Magician's Hand? Ah, uh, Magician's Glove. Yes, I'm going to pickpocket. Alright, so you have to pay for tickets. Present your tickets and you can go on through. There's a lot of private actions here. I don't know if I'll see any of them. Unfortunately, I haven't been getting any of the good PAs. But anyways, that's not the point of this excursion. The point of the excursion is to pickpocket this guy here. Now we got the bunny shoes. Awesome! Now you may be wondering what the bunny shoes do, and I'm going to show you that in a second after I leave Fun City and save the game. All right, now I'm going to save the game and get in a battle real quick without the bunny shoes. Just as a demonstration. All right, we're in a battle. Fairly easy enemies, but I'm going to control Reyna for a few seconds. See how slow she moves? Yeah, that's very slow movement there. And now I'm going to control Dias because I like to fight. Anyways, I'm going to cut to the next part of the video with the bunny shoes equipped. 
All right, now I'm back. And Reyna has the bunny shoes equipped. Now watch this. Look how fast she's running. That's basically the purpose of the bunny shoes. It sacrifices the defensive bonuses of your shoes, which is pretty minuscule anyways, for increased mobility. Very nice. Especially on enemies like those lizards who like to shoot a column of flame at you. You can just move forward and dodge it right out of the way. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.